What's up guys, Poke here from Cast Class and today we're going to be talking about update, upcoming update for March and this is going to be a translation. First of all, huge shout out to Caleb Vosberg for the owner of this account, this Taiwan account. We're going to be testing the new hero for sure. What's her name? I don't know. The witch. Yeah, we're going to call her this, a space witch. That's right. So we're going to talk about her in a little bit. But right now, we've got a list of update information provided by Joel Go. Huge shout out to Joel. Thank you so much. And I believe he, he, he gives a pretty good explanation. But we're going to do this to make it a little bit more fun. We're going to involve note cam. There you go. So what we're going to do is go on the list and find which which items are considered awesome right this is awesome and then if they're not that good what are we gonna call them we're gonna call it the come on man and with two exc exclamation okay we gotta move it a little bit here this way that's my note so if if it falls somewhere in the middle it's kind of neutral okay you guys ready so i'm gonna read it in kind of like no not not in particular fashion but i'm just gonna read it to you from the ones i think are pretty simple to understand so first of all hero slot is gonna increase by one yeah it's, it's hero slot that that's pretty normal so we got warden boss improved ranking system the icon for each warden have been improved yeah whatever do we even need to put down that i'm neutral about that what do you guys think let me know in the comment section bug solve anything with bug solve with lost realm or whatever i think that's a huge 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 plus or whatever if they fix any bug that's gonna fall into awesome fix things right that's great and then we have uh yeah, we have bug solve with, with quests regarding donation and stuff like that. I don't even know. I've never even ran into that. But maybe I don't do enough quests and stuff like that. So you tell me. We have destiny map. Yeah, destiny is kind of neutral. I mean, every new hero needs to be on destiny for 12 or 12. Pet soul stones heroes resources list will show tips. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, that that's, that's under fixed things, I guess. More heroes expedition added improve according to Mike. That could be somewhere between neutral and awesome, right? Hero expedition improve. I like those. That's gonna be like that. And then we have team dungeon HPM reward list will be shown achievement rewards. Da -da 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 -da. I, I think I'm neutral about that. I don't really know. But you can select pay gems to get double rewards added. So team dungeon and HBM, that's what? Team dungeon. And HBM. Team HBM, okay? So I'm gonna put a T right here. Uh Jammable gem to double. I don't know yet. It could go, it could be more neutral. It could be awesome. I don't know, but I'm gonna put it towards the right because at least they're trying to make improvement. It depends on how many gems you have to spend, and it depends on if they actually fix it. Crest forging reward improve also somewhere here. Forging. Right, and then we have Fortress Feud reward improve. Yeah, Fortress Feud and that will also depends on how good it improves. So I don't know yet. Quest period and rewards time use completing quest improve. So there's a lot of rewards improvement. In general, it's so far going towards awesome and new players will be forced to go through tutorial before daily reward page oh okay welcome i guess right welcome and here's a tutorial i don't know if that could be annoying and stuff oh uh, let me know in the comment section i'm gonna put it in the middle 
So we have so far so good. So in the warehouse, there's a fame exchange. Let's check it out. Let's let's turn off this note cam real quick and then go to the warehouse because I heard what they did was they sold. Okay, so they sold this thing for 400 each. You know, somebody did a calculation. What is it like a million seven or something like that to to get a breakthrough? You need igniting stones at the cost of a 1.7 million fame to break through 20. Not including the zenith stone. You still have to farm a zenith stone or something. This igniting stone purchasable. This is like a come on, man. Right? It's come on, man. IGG. Ig. Igniting stone. I'm gonna put it on the left because this is not cool, in my opinion. Igniting. Let me see. Igniting stone, 400 fame. That's come on, man. I mean, new hero skin. Yeah, we, we know that's coming and the new hero will test it in a little bit and we'll determine if, if it's awesome or a come on man And then we have a boss speed up button in labyrinth edit. Oh, that's 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 awesome. That's awesome boss speed up For lab, oh can you even see it well you get the idea and two round of skins and improvements uh, army camp walls hero altar magic hall i'm pretty neutral about that building skins let's put it in the middle b skin and the last one but not the least is 10 more breakthrough levels added from 21 to 30. from what i heard you need a brand new stone for this but i don't know can somebody confirm the comment section and even if it uses the same material from 21 to 30, I think it's a come on man kind of situation. It's it's right here. That's in my opinion. You guys let me know in the comment section. But that's a top player that I'm talking with, USMC. It's a top player to guild. I mean they have a uh mic cap and stuff. So it's kind of it's kind of natural for top players to have a might cap in a might cap guild and stuff it's it's kind of the progression of the top player he has 22 heroes breakthrough 2020 he can make probably 25 uh you know instead of 22 but he has 22 because come on dude and then you're gonna make it breakthrough 30 i think it's way too early in my opinion i, I don't want to be a buzz kill i'm just saying but so far this update is looking like it could be more awesome than come on man because yeah, I mean, not everybody is at the breakthrough level and whatever. We can have fun at any stage of the game we want. Unfortunately, for the top players, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's gonna hurt the top players a little bit. But so far, it's more towards awesomeness. It depends on something like that. Maybe we're gonna do a part two once we hit, we see all the rewards come in and stuff. But let's test the new heroes. So the new heroes is gonna do like a million different things, complicated things. But regardless, we're gonna test it. Oh crap, I just collected your rewards. I'm sure it's cool. Let's go to a dungeon that has a thing right here. What is that one? Yeah. So what this thing do is create like a space. Holy crap, it looks cool. Oh my God, that's a random space something. And then from the skill description, I don't want to go into details because there's going to be a better translation or there's going to be an English version coming soon, right? But this thing is supposed to make the hero immune to freeze and petrify and all the good stuff. So is it going to be game changing? I don't know. But is it game breaking? I don't know either. But but let, let's see again. Let's see what, what, what whatever it is. But it just looks really cool. New designer? Okay, it looks like there is no range to the proc. So the proc is pretty much randomly, globally destroy stuff. Let's see. Come on, proc one more time. There's a cooldown for sure. Oh, okay, okay. 
huh, it kind of reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of like a Lavonica proc, but then it's bigger range, right? You know how Lavonica has that um, paralyzed proc, but I kind of like it. I want to, I want to see the proper, like when it, when it comes to an English server and then see what the translation is and stuff. Do I think this hero is going to be kind of broken? Is it a come on man kind of hero or is it more towards awesome? I'm neutral for now, but like I said, I mean, we might make a part two of this about the new hero. Let's read the skill real quick. If we can, we can, it says star spirit right here. Time and space randomly summons a space target within space will be pris prison prisonized and every second will cause X amount of damage base attack space lasts for X seconds. Yeah, we can see that. And then when the space in place, hero is immune to freeze and cannot be petrified. Cooldown X seconds. When hero HP is higher than equal, the, 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 the second increase. The, yeah, that's the complicated part. I mean, we're, we're gonna find out when when it comes to the English server. But anyways, it's pretty cool. Let's take a look at it one more time. We go into dungeons, and we go into this guy right here because we haven't been here before. And we're gonna go. Let's see where the proc's gonna be at. I just enjoy this really good animation. You know, they put work into it. And it looks pretty good. I appreciate it. It's it's really cool. You know, especially if you spend your gems and stuff to roll for this hero. And you got it. Oh man, it's a good feeling to see these procs. And I wonder what the new skin is going to make this proc looks like. Hopefully they make a really good animation and stuff like that. But anyways, like, let me know in the comment section what do you think about this hero. I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to give you... A conclusion too early maybe we're gonna make a part two like I said but thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section if you like let me show you the note video real quick so there's definitely two items that is kind of like a come on man like IgG igniting stone costing 400 fame and breakthrough 30 that's the only come on man but the rest shout out to IgG I hope the rewards are worth playing for that's that's what i'm really hoping for but thank you so much for watching as always you guys are awesome and poke out